Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. We are going to be making some pumpkin streusel cheesecake squares. Because it's fall and when it's fall, I like to think about pumpkins and apples and all those fun baking things. And since we've been talking about the brownie pan, we're gonna make them in the brownie pan. So here we go. It's super easy. There's a recipe on the Pamper Chef website. You can go in there and print it off right there. Um, if you want more recipes for the brownie pan, all you have to do is search for brownie pan on the Pamper Chef website and then narrow it down by recipes and there's a lot of options there. So the thing I love about this recipe is that you don't have to make a crust. It's a cheesecake without a crust. So you just use cookies as the crust. So watch this. So you just put those little cookies in there and it almost fills up the well. So you do that. Um, let's see, we just put one in the bottom of each well. These are just shortbread cookies. Really you can use whatever you want. It doesn't matter. With the pumpkin, this works really well. There's another recipe on the website for like a chocolate one where you use like the Keebler fudge stripe cookies and that's really good. Okay, so we got all those in there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make up your batter. So we've got, I got my recipe so I don't mess up. So I've got um, eight ounces of cream cheese and then half a cup of sugar. If you're watching your sugar, you can cut back a little bit if you want to. It's not an overly sweet recipe, it's pretty good. So I've got my half a cup of sugar and then I've got a can of pumpkin right here. And um, if you don't have the Pampered Chef can opener, you should totally check this out. It opens on the side of the can, not the top. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you just turn it to the right and it engages. And you go all the way around. Pretty easy. Then you don't have to worry about, you know, your lid falling in either. And then lefty loosey. So you just turn it back to the left and it comes off. And then it has like these little parrot mouth beak things right here. And you just push a little button and grab the lid. And there we go. So we're gonna get our um, our pumpkin in there. Let's see, it's a whole can of pumpkin. I guess you could use homemade, if you make your own pumpkin, you could do that too. It's just whatever, the 15, 16 ounces of pumpkin. Okay, let's see. So you get our pumpkin. We also wanna put two eggs in there. So you're gonna crack your eggs and stick them in there. See, there's not a lot to this recipe, really. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to do, let's see, a tablespoon of flour. There it is. So adjustable measuring spoons, these are super fun. Um, you don't have to buy multiple measuring spoons. It adjusts, there's a tablespoon and a teaspoon size in the set. So I got a tablespoon of flour. And then I'm also gonna do a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. Okay, so this is what makes it super yummy. You know, I kind of eyeball the stuff like this when I'm making. It's not exact, but it's gonna work. Okay, there we go. So then all you do is you just mix this up. It's so, so easy. Where are we? Here's my whiz. You know, cream cheese is one of those funny things when you mix it up, it's like, I don't know, it seems like it takes forever to incorporate, but It'll be pretty quick, I promise. Okay, so we're mixing it up. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to plop it in there with the scoops. I don't know if you guys have the scoops, but I love the scoops. So medium and large work on the brownie pan. Gives it just enough batter to fill the wells. Medium is probably best, but large works too. It just makes it a little bit fuller. Okay, so I softened my cream cheese ahead of time, so I incorporated really, really well, like 30 seconds in the microwave and you're good. One thing that I do sometimes if I'm doing something really gooey, you can take the little basting brush with a little bit of oil and just kind of go around the corners and get in the little nooks and crannies. And that way you know nothing's gonna stick. Sweet stuff, you know, sugary stuff tends to do that. So that's something else you can do. Okay, so we got our batter. We're ready to roll, let me get my scoop. So here's the medium. Works like an ice cream scoop, you just squeeze it. So all I'm gonna do here is just kind of plop it in on top of the cookie. How yummy does that look? I forget how many does this make, let's see. It makes, makes 12, okay. We might just fill these extra full. So see how easy that is? It's great for um, cupcakes and muffins, like my muffin pan. The large actually works really well with the muffin pan makes the perfect size cupcakes and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more than the medium, I think. 
It's all just dripping down around those cookies. So yummy. But it's kind of fun that the cookie fits in there because you really could, you know, you could make whatever crust you want. Hope you guys are loving your brownie pans. I know some of you guys ordered it, so I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Meatloaf is really good in the brownie pan because it gives you all the crunchy edges. What else is good in the brownie pan? Um, breakfast casseroles. Uh, when I was really productive or when I'm feeling really productive, you can make a bunch of breakfast casserole type stuff ahead of time and then it's ready to go. And then you can just heat it back up in the microwave and take it on the go. You know, just store it in the freezer until you're ready to use it. Okay, this looks super yum. Now what you can do too, once this is done, since it's essentially pumpkin cheesecake, you could uh, have a little bit of homemade whipped cream to go on top. Okay, so there we go, that's most of my batter. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop up some of these shortbread cookies with the food chopper and we're gonna sprinkle it on the top. Cause that's gonna be super yum. So I don't know if you guys have a food chopper. Food chopper's fabulous. It's an oldie but goodie. Mine's about 17 years old. The blade rotates when you push it. If you're having a bad day, you can just like beat the heck out of something and you just got pulverized cookies right there. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on the top. Look how cute these are. I know my family is anxiously awaiting these, so should be yum. And then the best thing to get things out of the brownie pan is the little mini nylon serving spatula. And it fits perfectly in the wells. And because it's nylon, um, it won't scratch. This is a nonstick finish, so you don't want to use metal on it for sure. All right, I'm almost done. Looks like I made a little bit too much cookie crumble here, but that's okay. I'm sure we can find a use for it. We got a dog that's choking over here on something. <laughs> it's not everybody. <laughs> Do you know, I also have a dog that like sits underneath your feet when you're uh, cooking, like waiting for something to drop. <laughs> he probably got a hold of something I dropped already. <laughs> okay, I think these are good. Let me show you. Look at that, and I think cute. So I'm gonna throw these in the oven. They cook at, let me think, see, 350 for about 18 to 20 minutes. And you've got little cheesecakes and they come out beautifully, perfectly portioned um, little desserts. So there you go, hope you enjoy. Take this recipe home, try it, hope you love it. Thanks guys.